my deep greetings the financial experts this is Ayman Ayman Muhammad the financial expert I wish you all to be in good health today I'm going to speak about very important sub financial topic and it's widely implemented all across almost all the all new implementation today I'm going to speak about document splitting and I will divide this explanation this session today into two main parts the first part is the main concept for the business case for document splitting and the second part how to ensure your document splitting is configured correctly 100% or you can how to co configure correct document splitting uh, uh, item categories which is the main step and it's first step in document splitting configuration in very accurate way and correct and very fast at the same step the first part for the business case I'm going to talk about one company code which has two different branches and how to generate complete financial statement for the whole company code and for each branch separately this is the first uh, first thing the second demo that I'm gonna present is how to configure item categories for document splitting correctly 100% correctly and how to check if my configured item categories is configured correctly and in this case it's used commonly in health check projects and how to eliminate about 70 or 80 percent of document splitting issues that appears because of item categories uh, not correctly configured okay i'll see you in the demo right now let's start thank you let's start uh, demo for the first business case that i have uh, one company code with two different branches i'll do standard uh, transaction processing simple posting so fb50 I'll select date as normal, document date, posting date, and debit GL account. So let me press S for debit, put in amount. And I'll select the credit side. Asterisk to represent the balancing amount. For the first line item, I'll double click and press more to add the profit center. Let's select branch number one. I return back and select the second line item. Also, more and select branch number two. As we can see now in, 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 in the document. The entry view nothing changed in the normal simulation. Debit and credit. However, if I run back and select document simulate in general ledger, I find here automatically created zero balance clearing. I can sort this out for branch number one debit and the credit completed and branch number two debit and credit completed I can also get the total amount per branch which gets subtotal per uh, subtotal per branch here I can find the branch each branch getting zero white mean that debit and the credit are correct there is important uh, field here it's called partner profit center the partner profit center which are representing from where this transaction comes for this zero balancing item the transaction comes from this partner profit center this means that this is zero is against branch number one for branch number two and this branch number one zero is against branch number two I return back well, first let's see also export mode here for export mode you can find
find the document tiles balance method ledger and explain method which is very important and we'll see it in next videos and here gives you the base line which is base line and which is clearing line and this is line item you can find here there is line item number generated but here there is no line item number generated if I press customize it I can assign see assigned item categories that will speak about them and select check the item categories which is got splitted during this okay I return back and save Turn back and save and let's see if the G1 to financial statement for the same for the same company code. Information uh, financial statement version. Go through uh, ALV and only for this year. I run for the whole company code. I can see your accounts, all my accounts are assigned. This is debit, this is credit. I return back and I press here for dynamic selection. As per profit center, I select the national profit center. Thanks a lot. I can find Splitting clearing account also generated. As you know, in any financial statement version, I can redirect to this real account as much as I want. If I remove this and put branch number two, you can see here the same thing splitting account appears in debit side. And if I remove the profit center in total. In my old company code, there is no clearing account, zero balancing clearing account or enterprise clearing account exists. Thank you for the for uh, reviewing this first part and let's go to the second. Uh, let's go to the second part of today's demo uh, how to configure correct uh, document splitting item category I'll start with transaction code FAGL underscore check underscore account I'll select the company code that we used before and here it gives me a check for item category already configured or I'll apply defaults updated if I didn't configure it. Let's just start with the checking. I run dirty code. It gives me two kinds of kinds of status here. Let's check. There is a third type of status. Error means that what is suggested by SAP in default is not maintained anymore in the configuration. That's why it gives me this error status. The second type of status which is warning the default item category suggested by SAB is to be 20,000 however here the item category entered in configuration is a little bit different let's see the latest status that the default item category which is suggested by SAB matching the item categories entered in configuration by us now let's check the first 
error, first kind of error that you may face here based on this incorrect item category. I'll go up and select one of these missing item categories. However, SAB suggests to have 20,000, but it doesn't maintain. Let's try to make a posting through FB50 again. Slash or FB50. select the date, I'll paste the GL account and set debit and bot in amount. I select the same GL account that you used before and bot credit simply. When I try to post it gives me an error message that no item categories assigned to the GL account 718 euros same like it was configured here it's missing this is 1.1 or the first error message that we check now let's go to another type of error message let's start the, the, the demonstrating second error that we made I'll go to FAGL uh, account uh, FAGL account and I'll check specific account for cash related one for payment related one here what is SAB suggested is 4000 however what I configured is 1000 that's why it gives me more in this case I'll go now and do one of payment without modifying this F dash five three. Here I select document date. I select the cash related account. Select the amount. And I select the vendor. Select value date for this account. And I select. Open eyes. When I go to document, simulate in general ledger, I go to expert mode, I find item category is missing and it's obligatory for this type of document types and this type of documents. Okay, this is the second kind of error that may raise if I didn't follow the correct item category configuration that is suggested by SAB. The one. Here is the last part of uh, today's session. I'll go to the same program that we have, FAGL underscore check underscore account. I'll display this. I'll select company code, which doesn't have any kind of item categories. I'll run it without checking up apply defaults. I'll run it. I'll find defaults which is, which is a suggested item categories from SAP and item categories configured are empty and that's why status is error I return back and select apply defaults and I will run it's still not updated however if I return back it gives me message default values will be able to copy it I return back normally when I run it again I find it fully filled based on default value thank you this is the last part of uh, this session